Hi Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Aries. We're going to take a look at the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose are for the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. And so the Nine of Pentacles is a card uh, where we see this icon figure standing in, looks like the backyard or in the garden. There are pentacles on the wall. There are grapes and the icon is holding a, a bird. So there's, this is a card of being independent, of making good choices and being successful. And so this is about really putting in the hard work and doing what you need to do to build the comfort and the security of your home. And uh, along the way, maybe you had to make some uh, hard choices, but this is a time to reflect and to continue to uh, use your, your smarts and your experience to be independent and uh, th there's a thinking here with this Nine of Pentacles, which is a lot of work goes into building security and the building of a, a firm foundation. But don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So if you've been working hard this week, Aries, or in the weeks leading up to this, and yes, you feel successful, you're doing well, you are, you know, uh, building the comfort of your home, don't forget to take time out to enjoy all the effort and, and the result and the reward of working hard, which is to do the things that you love. So then we have the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is looking right at the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Wands is a card of thinking about really the future, looking at options, making decisions, impact on current lifestyle, people in my family, people in the environment. Uh, this is maybe what I'm thinking, what I want to do. It's really the early stages of, of creation and of manifesting. You're holding the world in your hands. So you have the power to make these decisions. You have the power to, to move beyond this patio here, or the back part of the, of the place, of the palace, perhaps. And so, you know, you're looking through these two wands. It's a portal to something new. So while you have been perhaps uh, very successful with what you've been doing and you've been quite independent, you're thinking about horizons and about what's out there and what else can you achieve and accomplish. So now I'm going to choose two cards for... Uh, guidance. Aries, love it. I love it. Wheel of Fortune. Things are moving for you. The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Life is spinning. You know, events are happening. Change could be coming. Fortune could be yours. And again, it could be you following the breadcrumbs of what the universe is kind of putting in your head. Or it's a matter of um, being in the right place at the right time. With the Wheel of Fortune, it could be decisions that you have to make quickly, uh, but things are happening. And so, you know, all the events that come and go out of our life, that's, that's the Wheel of Fortune in reality, which is good things happen and bad things happen, but it seems like you're on a path where you have had success in your life and you have done everything you need to do in order to be successful. 
You are thinking above and beyond where you are right now, wanting something else. Wheel of Fortune comes in, change may be coming, may be rapid, it may be slow moving, but you know, the wheel is always turning. Who knows how, what it's going to spin at you. But this can suggest that positive change is coming because you are thinking about it. You are visualizing and hoping to create. So here, you know, in response to the, the universe is listening, and it may be putting you in a different direction. The great news in terms of guidance is the Six of Wands. Again, Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is that this is about success, more success. This is about victory. This icon is riding his horse and being um, applauded by the patrons and by the people watching. And so, uh, again, hard work goes into it. A big picture leadership results in reward, results in success and, and people recognizing you. So the path that you're thinking about taking, and perhaps you're just in the planning stages, but events may turn for you that are going to lead you into a successful venue, a successful place. So now I'm going to choose two possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so we have the star, Major Arcana. Uh, also, the Wheel of Fortune was the Major Arcana. Big ideas, big things to think about for the week. This star card is about uh, finding harmony be really between your physical and your spiritual sense, so your state, your state of being. We look to the stars for guidance. We wish upon a star. The icon figure is pouring water on water and he's actually pouring water on land as well here it it's pouring water on land and so again it's it's trying to find the balance between physical and spiritual the star card is about healing and it's about having faith it's about having optimism in the future believing that everything is going to be okay and trusting the stars, trusting the universe. We often see the star after a struggle or a difficult time in our life. It's really the calm after the storm. But in this case, it's telling you not to lose hope, to believe in the outcome that everything is going to work out. The only thing that's interesting here or, or that's a little wrinkle is this eight of swords. And again, with swords, we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the air energy, the, the uh, idea of thinking. And here you have felt restricted. You have felt perhaps trapped. And maybe this is self-doubt that even though you have all these wonderful cards, there's still a piece of you that doubts that you could do it. And, uh, you know, you're maybe not taking the steps that you need to move forward. But you have to truly trust yourself. You have to trust the universe. Everything looks fabulous here within this reading with these cards. This is a state of mind card. You may feel restricted. There may be some delay in you being able to set off on your course which can lead to frustration or disappointment. Don't let this get you down. Let the strength and the power of the star card lead. And you will, you're going to find, um, you know, I think everything that you're hoping for, you're building something. You have change coming, positive change, that's going to result in success. You starting with from a successful place, you're headed toward recognition and reward and success. You have to have faith and optimism in what's coming your way. 
So now let's choose an oracle card for meditation area or focus area for the week. The Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. That's a pretty in sync message with this reading, which is you are the Divine Director. You hold the cards. You hold the vision. You are the Creator, and you have to see where you want to go. And then you have to take advantage of the opportunities and the changes that come your way. So divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. And again, we're talking about guiding from the stars. So now I'm going to choose a card for spiritual self, emotional place. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I decided, I'm sorry, I checked in with myself. So, you know, change can be stressful for many. So do what you need to do to find your center and to find the harmony between your emotional self and your body, your, your mind, your body, spirit, everything is to find the balance. If it means resting, taking additional time off to rest, uh, going for a spa treatment, taking an Epsom bath, whatever it may be, allow yourself to restore and to find your center. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love and we'll get the messages for love. Vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. And I just love, I love how the Oracle cards are supporting you this week, Aries. Vision is really about the two of uh, wands. Having a vision leads you to success. A very clear vision. The star is having a vision and a faith in yourself. So you will, once you, you'll handle this, this is a temporary feeling of perhaps feeling a delay or uh, nervousness, but you'll be able to handle that, I have no doubt. Aries, you have a wonderful reading, full of power, full of success. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you found this reading helpful, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.